so that's that. Uh, next one, next up, is the small grip. Um, so I'm just going to cover a little bit of, en of theory of engineering drawing here as well, um, which hopefully you'll find helpful. Um, so we've got, you know, what does, first of all, we'll have a look at what this part looks like in 3D, because I think that's probably helpful. Uh, should I just do this as another video? No, we'll, we'll carry on. Um, what does it look like in 3D? So we'll just, oopsie daisy, we'll just flick back to here. Um, and we've got one of these on, here's one I prepared earlier. So that's on the long arm. And I've just got the big grip there, the short arm. There we are. Let's, let's go for what it is, small grip. There we are. And there's the small grip. So this is what it looks like in three dimensions. But how does that relate to the drawing? Well, there's our side view. Move it around our piece of paper. There's our front view. And there's our top view. So because we're doing first angle orthographic projection, remember, when we're looking at the top view on our piece of paper, we're actually looking at the bottom of the object. Yeah, so we can see you've got those three lines going across. So let's just do that again um, without the shading so we can just see what that looks like there. Okay. Yeah, and we're just moving it around our piece of paper like that. Okay. Right, so if we flick back to the drawing, that's what we're seeing. Okay, right, so the first thing I'm going to look at is being lazy with our drawing technique. And I'm just going to pause this video because I need a sneeze. <coughs> I'm not going to pause this video because I need a sneeze because. <coughs> yeah, because the pause facility isn't available in the uh, little drop down menu from the bottom which is a little bit annoying right, I'll, I'll continue through oh okay quick drink of water there right so that's what we're looking at if we'll let's just uh, let's just do something like this Okay, uh, let's just make that a bit smaller. Right, and scroll that into view. So we know what we're looking at, more or less, there. Right, so back over to AutoCAD, let's move that over. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly put this together. So I'm drawing two lines, uh, escape, escape, O for offset, specify offset distance, it's a 19 square. So 19 that way, and... 19 that way, escape, escape, TR, trim command, select everything, right click or press enter, select the things that I want to get rid of. There we go. Right, so we've done our thing. Uh, now we need to do the circle. Um, so I'm going to flick over to the center layer. I'm going to go over to annotate. I'm going to do a center line. Click there, click there, and repeat. Click there, click there. So now we've created that center point, so we can go back and just, excuse me, um, so we can go back and then we're going to do that circle and we just take that circle to our edge. But Steve, you've done the circle on the center layer. There we go, just select the circle, go back there and there we are, job done. So that's that drawing done very quick of Mr. Circle. Now what's that inside circle? That inside circle is diameter 8, okay. So circle, oops, there's a circle. Um, remember, it specify radius. So radius is four if the diameter is eight. And I really need to go on the proper layer, don't I? There we go. Let's select that again and put that there. Right. Okay. So now we're working on layer zero. All right. So that's that finished. Very quick. Now, because I can't be bothered, um, I don't want to. I don't want to have to do that offset again. I don't want to measure that again. Because um, why should I have done it here? And it's the same. So I'm going to flick to a construction to the construction layer. I'm going to switch the construction layer on first. Uh, you can see I've already done some there previously. Um, so then I'm going to switch to the construction line. Now I'm just going to do a construction line there. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Uh, and I'm going to repeat that L for line there. Okay. Uh, and then all I need to do then is come back to here and I can do a line there I can use my old friend offset and I can offset by 
Oh no, it doesn't say, it doesn't say. Well, we need to take the drawing as a whole, 13. So I can offset by 13. Okay, so uh, offset by 13, enter, select my line, and offset. So we've done that, TR for trim, select everything, get rid of that, get rid of that, that, and that. Okay, and then finally select those and put them up there. Okay, so we, we've done that, we've done that quite quickly. Um, so, and we've got this little bit here, that's three millimeters around the center and 1.5 deep. Okay, so let's zoom in then. Right, so we need a center line, so why not? Let's, let's put a center line in. Let's put a center. Generally, um, center lines are one of the last things you put in. Um, you know, you, you do all the details and then you put in the center, you do all the details, you do the chamfers and the fillets and then you put in the center lines. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of break with that at the mo for, for a moment um, and put a centre line in there because it's useful. And so there we go, we've got that centre line. Um, right, so we'll back up. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to go back here, I'm going to use my offset command and I'm going to offset by 1.5 millimetres. So here we go, uh, 1.5, enter. Okay, I'm just going to do that up and then. I'm going to just draw a line from there to there because it's a centre line. It won't let me. Oh dear! Let's undo that. In fact, I'm not going to use a centre line because because I use the set the the annotate command. It doesn't let you offset centre lines that you actually create. So I'm just going to draw a line, Control uh, and right click from the midpoint there, and I'm going to draw it straight as well. Let's try that again one more time for luck. Let's move off the centre layer. There we are. I'm just going to type mid because I can't be bothered pressing control and right clicking. Uh, so there we go. And there we go. Right. OK. Good. Right. Offset. 1.5 return. Right. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. And we're going to go there. So that's 1.5 either side of the centre line and 1.5 up. So that's everything we need then. To create that so we're just going to then join up the dots go from there to there to there and then we can use the trim command to take out everything uh, we don't need which is that and that and then we can use the erase command uh, which is e for erase or we can uh, just press enter there or we can select it all and press the delete button on the keyboard and there we have it okay um, what else do we need to know? We need to know we've got that dotted line there that's showing the hidden detail. And that tells us that this hole goes all the way through. So how do we do that? Well, we can do a construction line again if we want. Um, or we can just go straight for a hidden detail line because we know it's hidden detail. Uh, and we can do our line. And we can control and right click. And we've got a quadrant tap snap. And that just snaps to the northeast, south or west points of a circle. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that there. I'm going to bring that across. I'm going to do that here. I'm going to bring that across. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim. There we are. We've very quickly put that in place. That's not looking quite right, is it? Okay, no mind. I'm going to carry on regardless. I think it, it must be right, mustn't it? Um, what else do we need to know? We need to know about this curve. How do we do that? Well, we know it's one millimetre there. Okay, so let's construct that point. Offset one millimeter. Yeah, it's all about constructing points that you don't know. Right, and then we can use the arc command. Read what it says next to the next to the um, next to the cursor. Specify start point of arc. So I'm going to be that intersection that I've just created. The next point of the arc needs to be the midpoint of this line. So again, control and right click and select midpoint, or you can just type mid and press enter. And then our final point of our arc is back down to there, uh, and that's it. Um, so as you can see I'm still on the hidden detail there so let's just place that back there uh, and then move to there. Okay um, now we want that on that side so we're going to use the mirror command because I'm a bit feeling lazy again. What does it say? Select objects. So that's the object we want to mirror. Right click and press enter. Specify point of first line of mirror line so that's there and it just takes us straight up there. Yeah. Uh, erase source objects, so we can erase that initial thing or we can keep it in place. We don't want to erase it, we want it there, so we're just going to click now. And that's very quickly how to do that. So now we're on to this view up here. So let's just move over. Yeah, let's uh, 
carefully move around. So, how do we do this quickly? And how do we make sure those lines are in the right place? Well, we can do as we did before. Let me just get rid of that. We can do as we did before, uh, so let's just flick over to a construction layer. Uh, we can do a line up here, like that, and a line up here, like that. So that saves us having to faff about and, you know, get things lined up and, and things and get things straight. We, we know that those two lines, because, you know, that, that line and that line are in the same place and that line and that line are in the same place. But if only, if only we could take some of the information from here and bring it over to here, and then we wouldn't have to do, do any more measuring. Well, I've got good news for you. We can do that. So what we do is we draw a line and we just press tab there and make sure that that's at 45 degrees. Okay. And then we can take our points here. Whoops, Daisy, I need to, need to make sure that's longer, don't I? Uh, is it going to... Oh, I'll just draw it again. Right, line there. Let's draw it a bit longer. Tab, 45 degrees. Okay. Right, so... There we go, we go up here, and we can take that across. Oops, and easy. Right, so that's alpha line, cross, escape, escape, alpha line. Okay, so now all we have to do is trim this out. So right click, once we've done our selections, obviously if you're on the web version that's slightly easier, slightly more streamlined. And there's our box. Has our box, yeah. That's that's the outline there. Okay. Um, but what we want to know is about these three lines here. I mean, we still got to do, put that hidden detail line in for the hole, but we can do that in exactly the same way that, that that we did over here. Just draw a line from the quadrant up, draw a line from the quadrant up, and trim it to fit, and make sure it's hidden detail. But these three lines here are a little bit more tricky. You know, where, where do we put them? I mean, we could we could select a midpoint, draw it from midpoint to midpoint, offset, offset, or we could do this. We can go from here to here to here. And we can go from here, alpha line. Just go into the intersect there. Okay, escape, escape, alpha line. There to there to there. And again, we can just very quickly use the trim command Select all that, right click, there we go. Select everything there, escape, escape to come out of the commands. And that's it, those lines are in exactly the right place because we use this geometry that we'd already created. So we can we can check that if you like. So they should be one and a half millimeters apart. So should we check? There we are, 1.5, three millimeters across. Yeah, and we can uh, we can check if it's at the midpoint as well, can't we? So let's line, control and right click, midpoint. There we go. Yeah, I've selected the line. You can see the triangle for the snap is right on the midpoint there. So we know that geometry is correct. Then we can just construct those curves in exactly the same way as we did over here, and we can do that um, hidden detail line for the hole just there. Uh, and that's. That's a really useful technique. I mean, this is a fairly simple example, but as you can imagine, as drawings get more complicated, you can save yourself a lot of time and effort by putting in that 45 degree line and just bringing up that detail across and then trimming it out and just bringing that detail up and straight across. Because if you measured it once, you don't have to measure it again. Um, you know, um, certainly when you were doing drawings by hand, that was a, you know, a, a, very, a very good shortcut to ensure accuracy and consistency. Okay, so that's that. And then finally, 